Hey everybody, Michael from Steel Yard, day six. Uh, you can tell I'm getting a little tired as I sit back here in my chair. <laughs> here for our happy hour recap with the team from Steel Yard. How's everybody tonight? Awesome. Good. Good. We've got a dog there too, I hear. Okay. Um, let's talk first. The most important thing is what we're drinking for our happy hour this evening. Let's start with Sarah tonight. What do you got, Sarah? I am drinking rosé out of a fancy goblet. My brother made this, so I'm representing. Cool. Wow. So it's okay. Um, it elevates uh, my cheap rosé. So <laughs> <laughs> rosé out of a goblet. I love it. Catherine, I like it tonight. Well, I had to take take the lead from Sarah, who was going local. So I had to shout out to my friend Brian Marks and his team at Bell Isle because okay. they have a moonshine that is grapefruit, and I take it and I mix it with uh, Indian River grapefruit, and were I not quarantined, I'd have a lovely slice of a beautiful ruby red right there, but it's pretty good. That's good. Okay, all right, and Sandy, how about you? Oh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna one-up you because I have a slice of orange in my Negroni. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> which is a little high octane for right now, but um, <laughs> but it's one of my favorites, so. Um, so and yeah. moonshine, is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's true, but this, yeah, this has like, yeah, three parts, sort of the Ina Garten style again, just like, you know. I like it. You have a, one part um, gin, one part Campari, one part vermouth, ice. <laughs> yeah, pour, look away, oops, and an okay, orange. stop pouring. <laughs> yep. There you go. I'm feeling so unfancy with you all. I mean, I really just keep going back to the <laughs> most nights here. Um, I have changed up my glass each night, and tonight we're representing New York with the Brooklyn Brewery. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Last night's was a Hoboken glass, um, and then was you know we've seen the others from Hamburg and, and others, but I guess I'll have to go stronger tomorrow night. I, I clearly didn't plan for this quarantine as well as you all, so. I'll stick with my England and say salud. Cheers to all of you on day six. Cheers. Cheers. All right, so a couple things to talk about tonight for our recap. Number one, um, this is the first day in about two weeks that I haven't done a Zoom chat recording. So I needed a break. We've got a lot more on the schedule, um, but I did none today. So I feel pretty relaxed tonight after not having doing those. Um, but there are a couple interesting ones coming up that I want to tell you about. So we scheduled today with a couple industry associations, um, kind of getting their perspective on things too. So I'll be talking to Sharon from ART, um, Accessories Resource Team. Uh, and I'll also be talking to Susan from Sustainable Furnishings Council in the next awesome. couple of days. And we'll get them up as well, telling you about what they're doing and how they're supporting the industry and what's going on with them. So that's coming up here. Um, and speaking of supporting the industry, I hinted at this the other night, been getting a lot of feedback from people. Wait, most interesting piece of feedback, by the way, I have to tell you, I'm not gonna call out the viewer, but I got an email with the lyrics to Eleanor Rigby from somebody. They didn't like <laughs> from the other night, so they actually sent me the full <laughs> lyrics uh, instead of my um, you know, really bad version. So that was the best feedback. but. Secondarily, a lot of folks have been emailing in about what they're doing um, to support charitable giving and other things in the industry. Good. So we're starting to gather that up. I don't think we're going to choose one that we want to support or anything. I think I want to gather up what everybody's doing in the industry and kind of put that up on a blog on the site here in the next couple of days um, to talk about that. So I, I think one of the interesting ones, I talked about the Trim Queen the other night. She started a sewing circle you know, in her community and, and really just taught people how to sew the masks and use that as a time to chat with each other and that kind of thing. So that level of giving all the way up to some of the industry things that have started to pop up. So stay tuned. In the next couple of days, we'll start to talk about that. Um, but tonight we're going to, let me start sharing the screen, switch my beard to the other hand. Sarah, tell us a little bit about, yeah. to share the screen, We've got the um, Insider Updates tab. And, and what that is, is a, a, essentially a blog on some things going on, but we've got some Enter to Wins and some other things. So take us through what we've got on there. Yeah, for sure. So the first thing I'll go through is right now from uh, Baker's new Lux collection that just launched, you can enter to win a purse table. Um, it's super easy. You just fill out a form, your name and information, and then just check the box that you'd like to enter to win. And 
it's really cool. cool. I love just geometric design and um, yeah, I would love to have that in my house, but not eligible. So yeah, definitely. Am and I? Because I need a spot to put my beer. I'm holding it and trying to scroll. That would be perfect for my beer perfect over here. Table. Yeah, yeah um, I agree. Okay. Cool. So they just entered a win right here on the site. Yep, there it is. Entered a win. Perfect. Okay. Cool. And what else do we have on there? The next thing we have is we've been talking to Chris Arama. They have a lot of really, really great content um, that they've been pushing out recently and just really good tips for designers. So one of the things that they've covered is how to light your bathroom, um, which mm. I thought was really great. So yeah, just going through tips and tricks. Um, and then you can like read more actually on their blog as well. So it just gives a little intro um, and you can see what's new from them, which we have in the new collections. Okay. Um, but yeah, they've got a lot of really, really great resources for designers. Yeah. And more to come too. I talked to Ryan yeah. today at Christorama and we're talking about putting together a Zoom chat. Um, but there's there's more to come. They're working on some things behind the scenes to really elevate mm -hmm. what they're, you know, again, they were going to have their showroom back at High Point for the first time. Yeah. Um, right. And, and they were really planning some big things. Um, in fact, we were planning some things together. Um, so more to come with Christorama too. What about this Barnes thing over here? What's what's this raw picture over here? What's going on with that one? Oh yeah, click on that, that's fun. So right now they are developing um, a upholstery or sleep sofa program, which was sort of made in response to just more home offices too. So they saw a demand for it and because they are a totally custom company with these custom capabilities were able to drum this up just in a response to a market need. So yeah, just some fun behind the scenes look at cool. their uh, facility. But yeah, so that'll be launching soon and we'll post when that's live as well. Okay. And we've got some other things down here, a couple other pieces um, of, of information. Cool. That's awesome. So um, I think, you know, keeping in mind uh, that we're constantly updating the site, adding new brands, products, adding new insider updates, new showroom tours, new air streams, all of that is happening in real time here. So thank you. Um, again, with new, I'll tell you, uh, you're the first to hear that we just talked to four hands today. Um, so they didn't have to recover from their party this year. So they're, uh, <laughs> they're ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> They're ready to go. It was mentioned with Bauer Clifton the other night. In fact, they said that's the party I think that they most missed. So um, they are working hard and they're actually going to be providing some images and some other things uh, that they were going to be introducing at market. So that's going to be one of the newest brands that will be popping up um, on the site shortly. So tell us, uh, I always put you on the spot, Sandy and Sarah, um, for what else is in the pipeline that you can kind of give us a preview of um, beyond forehands, which is just sending stuff in. Um, who else is in the pipeline that we're going to be seeing shortly? Well, actually, um, not in the pipeline, but um, today um, just put up um, uh, lavender oriental rugs, which if that doesn't ring a bell with people that, sorry, got a little, little, <laughs> little dog um, barking, of course, when I'm talking, um, if that doesn't ring a bell with everybody it, it might be because they show in the ej victor showroom um every market okay. and so those are the beautiful rugs that you see there and hold on hold oh, please we're going to shift mine, to sarah mine, for mine, a yeah, second let's let sarah talk first and then we'll mine come just, back on mute and then we'll hear about the rugs <laughs> all right go ahead sarah okay yeah so that is one of the collections that is live today um, and then coming in the pipeline, we have some art and accessories with Paragon, RFA Decor, I think we mentioned National Curiosities, those are all in the pipeline that we'll be rolling out tomorrow. So just every day, we're just cranking it out and it's really exciting to see so much new product. Awesome. Well, and I'll add on uh, Sandy's piece, Lavender Oriental Rugs partners with Rare Antique Rugs okay, yeah. that show in EJ Victor. So that it's like two resources under one roof, if you will. Okay. Well, this is all making sense because we have a live chat on the Steelyard site and somebody actually chatted with us. I'm looking for lavender. Uh, and I had no idea what she was speaking about. So now we know. she was. <laughs> now we know. 
rocks. Yeah. There we yeah. go. We're solving problems. Look at this. Solving mystery. All right, Sandy, are we clear of the dogs now? Yes. Yeah, so, oh, no. Nope, <laughs> See, we're learning how to adapt our new environment. That's right, all. right. Okay, so I, I told you last night I'm starting to adapt physical environments because I've been doing so many chats and I was so excited to, to um, you know, get in the pipeline for some ocean chairs from Hollywood. That has now turned into a construction project. We're going to take an outdoor space out front and turn it into kind of a seating area. So this is bad. Not even being at market, I'm getting ideas for things creating an entire outdoor seating area out front um, because of this. So I've got some work to do this weekend, with some shovels and other tools to really get that going in time for the ocean chairs. So uh, yes, we are adapting environments, <laughs> updating our spaces, even without market going on. Oh yeah. 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 All right, say, oh, mine. Well, some that minor hurts. barking, let's just go. Oh, yeah. that's yours, okay. Yeah, so no, they, yeah, so Lavender, they're, um, they, they're originally, from England, um, and then but they've been based in in New York for the last twenty years, and um, I just they're a really cool, um, you know they they just import a one of a kind antique rugs, and uh, they 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 have their headquarters right there in like the Flatiron District in New York, so they're very accessible to all the tri-state designers. Uh, they hmm. they have things you know in stock they can ship, and they're just some beautiful things. And and the the ones that were posted today are special promotions for market there are specific um you know one-off rugs so take a look over there and um and contact kay denson which the, the information is there for you to contact her um if you're interested um and, and to get pricing because the prices are really good and we're, we're not going to publish them here but um right we will, anybody who who wants to contact kay we will um or us we'll we'll let you um, see the pricing. So awesome. Well, there it is. I just started sharing the screen. So, so it's under new introductions. New introductions, and right there on the yeah. top row, lavender oriental carpets, and then mm -hmm. the dog bed, Sarah, that you were talking about. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's James awesome. By Jimmy De Laurentiis, and uh, oh, Woodbridge Furniture sneak peek. Cool. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna click into that. We want people to come and check it out. Uh, yeah. Not get their sneak peek here. All right, so uh, we'll end the night with some events. I said this morning on my social media posts that I was most excited for um, the Alex Shuford uh, webinar from Century, kind of that historical perspective of the current problem. So I hope people caught that today at one o'clock. And then tomorrow is the final session of Operation Ignite, uh, which is Gail Doby coaching and consulting tomorrow at one o'clock as well. So it seems to be a sweet spot on time there. But you can go to the events tab, check that out. Um, we've got a lot more events being posted. Um, in fact, I just sent a few more over to Sarah uh, an hour ago. Um, and we've got you know something in the pipeline I'm not going to share yet that the three of you don't even know about. Talk to somebody cool today um, that's going to provide some very, very cool information for all of our design friends. Um, a whole different level of experience um, to help them see their product and collection. So a little tease for all of you as we celebrate the end of day six. Um, I think we've got one, Cheers, guys. two more official days tomorrow, Friday. We'll keep going with these chats and then um, we will keep, keep going until the end of May with High Point at Home. So thanks everybody. Highpointedhome.com. See you tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.